Welcome everyone to this nightly live stream. Let's see if we can even sustain here this live stream because I'm not in the office. Let's put here some CPU start somewhere. Also to keep battery discharging. What 37 minutes battery life? Seriously? Okay, that comes from using my aging Retina Vintage Pro, uh, Retina MacBook Pro Vintage also. Um, yeah, matching the topic here, hey, zero drop frames, amazing, with three and a half, three and a half Mbit. So, uh, breaking news, Apple WWDC 19 here, and among other random nonsense and stuff few people once they announced the uh, mac pro everyone was actually not really waiting for macbook pro cram uh, macbook <laughs> macbook <laughs> you see so little macbooks uh, mac pros <sighs> said i already say macbook mac pro coming this fail uh, with uh, a fall <coughs> this is a typo we need to fix this so yeah it's uh, it's ridiculous by the way i should probably because I capture Retina MacBook Pro uh, Retina resolution. Yeah, it's so sad. It's uh, it it hurts. It's not fun, by the way. <laughs> this looks like alien faces. Maybe I'm too drunk. By the way, salute. Then here some good wine. Because ser seriously, this development Apple. It's it's so funny. You need to get drunk already. And uh, yeah, this Mac Pro, what is new there? Let me just check our drop frames. Hey, zero drop frames, that's amazing. Yeah, I really hope it is as amazing. And um, yeah, what is new, of course, uh, everyone knows the uh, trash can Mac Pro was not the biggest success. Few people wanted it. Um, Schiller sat there on stage, innovate, can't innovate my S anymore. Um, but reality is everyone didn't really got warm with it also among other things because it simply was let me just check in battery life it simply wasn't very upgrade friendly very service able hey yeah without firefox 54 minutes on battery life anyway of course yeah <laughs> fun fun fact my wife um i think not once but twice wanted to put trash in the mac in the app store in Berlin into the round trash can. Um, she really naturally assumed it's a trash can on the table. Uh, needless, needless to say, we, we didn't buy any. Um, I said already we had the Mac Pro. Uh, you saw it on videos. We have Mac Pro 2, 1. And I regretted this. The list, the list price was, I think, around 8,000 euro in 2006 or 7 ish. So like a decade ago, over a decade ago, and I would never buy such an expensive machine. So of course it was not the entry level price of the Mac Pro that we have. Um, ours was, I, I think back in the day, I think, I think it started with quad core. We had the dual processor uh, octa core for actually Linux needs. Back in the day, I somehow naively, like all the people trapped in the Apple reality distortion field, assumed let's take this Apple thing and not build it ourselves, but this was an overpriced piece of garbage and uh, couldn't upgrade the CPUs and when the next iteration of Intel CPUs had better virtualization performance and such, so yeah. And it's of course ironic that this thing took like literally, I don't know, uh, three years people were really waiting for and now it's a step back, it's literally, well of course it's different than the before the trash can Mac Pro, the last like one to five or something so five or I think it were iterations of Mac Pros but um, yeah it's ridiculous that this took so long I mean can't innovate my S anymore edition in Apple needing three years for redesigning a tower and why is this so sad um, I would say it's a piece of garbage and a very overpriced one so of course it looks here like kind of pseudo pretty but seriously who wants a pretty um, PC and if you build a really nice, there are really nice cases. By the way, my one of my favorite one cases is um, I, I don't own it. I sometimes uh, look on eBay 
but so far always was too expensive. There is a really nice level 10, was it level 10? So yeah, thermal take from BMW Design Works or something, cooperation with Silver Throne something, uh, with, with thermal take. Uh, this case here, there is a cheap case, a cheap plastic case that sucks, but the original was it this one. So to be honest, maybe it's not the most amazing. No, this is a cheap crap case. That is, a, and there are two versions. Well, um, not really sure if it's that amazing in reality, but at least it's kind of sort of uh, concept, kind of cool. And I think the price was 300, and then later there was a special edition titanium or something for 1000, which is of course super overpriced. But the 300 euro. But even I'm not was. A, Anyway, the initial was probably not limited, but it is hard to get nowadays anyway. Uh, and you see, e even PC cases can be pretty at only 300 uh, euro re retail anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over my cold. And um, yeah, why is this such an overpriced joke? Uh, so much to. Yeah, the trackpad also not the most amazing. So when you look at this, uh, some things, by the way, dust dust uh, stuck uh, USB-C ports here at the top, I guess, so so much uh, with, with toothpicks having to peel your dust out of there. And then here even the cases, um, this, this handles, not really sure it looks a little bit here. So actually I have to say I have not yet watched the WWDC because not in Berlin busy with life stuff and things here it looks a little bit like this handles can um, can be pushed in but anyway this this is handles up it looks strange yeah so there you see this animation i would guess maybe they can but anyway we discuss here handles of a stupid pc uh, this is not what defines a pc by the way probably should check drop frames or a couple of drop frames and increasing but not too many anyway um, yeah, so what is it? Of course, a super overhype is also it looks like steel, uh, stainless steel. Uh, at least that it, this is how it looks. And yeah, up to 28 core of power. Um, Intel Xeon, yeah, overpriced Intel Xeon stuff. And in addition, large L2 cache and shared L3 caches here. It's not like AMD Ryzen doesn't have large caches. Why do I say AMD Ryzen? Of course, because it's super much cheaper. Of course, the Xeon processors from Intel are super double and triple overpriced, plus uh, Apple Premium. And of course, people, Apple fanboys will make the case, yeah, but if you configure this yourself, you will have a similar price. Yeah, but I would not even use those components. I would use Zen 2 uh, or whatever. And uh, because, why do I say this? I mean, first of all, yeah, it has PCIe slots again. Yeah, thank you very much. This, for this, you needed five years. This is amazing innovation at work. <coughs> here they have here eight cores, so starting at eight cores, and uh, and so on. Sixteen threads, eight cores, sixteen threads, base, turbo, and and yeah. Then Tim Cook even said, yeah, it n delivers always the performance without compromise. Something yada yada yada. Something like that. And I uh, need to stop the video. And of course, each uh, normal PC always delivers its performance. It's only the regular old-fashioned Macs suck so much in their thermal throttling anyway. And um, Dell, yeah, so they marketed here, hey, it has plenty of PCI slots, double width, single width, like half-length slot here, yeah, half-length slot, amazing marketing material. But yeah, single width slots, double width slots, like, like if PCs don't have PCIe slots, and by the way, Zen 2, Ryzen 3000 stuff, PCIe 4, so this is not even PCIe 4, so Apple announces this today as overpriced garbage, and there is Zen, uh, Zen 2, Ryzen 3000 something, deliver shipping soon, seven, uh, probably so Ryzen 3000 is shipping before this overpriced piece of garbage, and... <coughs> And uh, it has PCIe 4 and uh, super many PCIe lanes and just take a nice case. Uh, why do I say all of this? So first of all, no professional asks for this. And this is something for designers, you know. This is like you buy an artwork and put it in the corner of your living room and never touch it with the stainless steel stuff and such. And this is how Apple totally lost its connection to reality here. Um, also here with this graphic card, 
uh, Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo, power plus power with up to 14 teraflops compute performance, yada yada yada, MPX. And here again, they made the mistake of the trash can Mac Pro where they had those modules were never ever produced, uh, nobody ever produced modules there. And here they again, uh, MPX module. So most likely we have again the same situation that you will never get such a special proposed graphic card ever again unless Apple in seven years updates it, probably, maybe, not allegedly, supposedly, whatsoever. And then they write here, it for more power, where is it with up to something, for more power with double, where was it, it somewhere it was written, it starts like an, like maybe here, second connector, an industry first, yeah. So, an industry first and an industry last, uh, good luck to ever getting a card for this. An upgrade for this MPX module starts with an industry standard PCA connector. Yeah, if it starts already with an industry standard PCA connector, why not leave it with this? Then, for the first time in the graphic card, additional PCIe lanes were created to integrate Thunderbolt and provide, by the way, what do I even show here? Uh, this comes from not having my studio set up. Oh, okay, I don't show my picture anyway. Good, wait a second. Oh no, it should have a. Do we even. Why does it not. What have I done here? Okay, anyway, doesn't really matter what worth. Uh, maybe because anyway it doesn't matter you only need to screen sharing in case that works and um, PCA lens was and uh, were created to integrate Thunderbolt and provide increased capability and uh, yeah but, but by the way here's Thunderbolt 3 fun fact you don't need this on the GPU you get plenty of plenty fine um, PCIe boards with Thunderbolt beside if you have a super high performance workstation you don't need Thunderbolt this is mostly thing for upgrading like extending expanding mobile ultra ultra thin MacBook mobile whatever stuff you just you know this is complete marketing bullshit you just don't need this over the graphic card like this on a workstation anyway and then it's the usual concept artwork that looks uh, nice Photoshop shop here the interior but seriously who cares about the interior uh, beside you can build a plenty fine looking uh, RGB lighted, heat synced, polished, whatsoever PC build and um, don't need here this overpriced stuff for that by the way, oh, 4.7, 1000 drop frames, whatever. So yeah, but last but not least, yeah, up to three, up to three streams and uh, 30 FPS and 12 streams, 16 streams, yeah. So and also, uh, last but not least, as usual here with the latest Apple, there was yeah security taken to new heights. The MacBook Pro is the most secure tower we've ever built. The secure and cloud coprocessor, so uh, secure and cloud like uh, probably T2 chipish like iPhone, iPad, something coprocessor provides a foundation to encrypted storage, the qubit capability, so good luck ever booting air to T2 there, I see. So it will be the same bullshit, you don't have access, access to storage, you can't really, for example, you realize Mac OS just doesn't cut it anymore, you want to run Linux, and then you can't get Linux on this anymore, not boot it, or if you get it booted, probably without the SSD and so on. And uh, I just want to give you a shout out, really don't fall for this, uh, think here for this and, and yeah, then um, Apple marketing bullshit of 2019 use AR to see Mac Pro in your workspace like seriously as if I would care how it looks on my desk here with this bloody stupid R AR stuff the, the least thing I would be concerned spending thousands of euro on a workstation is how it looks on a corner somewhere and uh, yeah, and by the way, it of course it looks similar to the Mac Pro. Of course, it looks uh, Mac, the previous Mac Pro and even G5. So b back back to the future, I would say. And um, yeah, tech specs here something um, can go over. Yeah, ECC DDR4, ECC. Yeah, also get this with Ryzen, even with my Mini ITX uh, build at home uh, and so on. And uh, uh, notify me, no, not notify me. I wanted the price. Uh, so because it starts, uh, wait a second. There was there was a price site previously. Uh, what? Uh, by the way, power supply 1.4 kilowatts. That probably would mean the G5 also has a very funny server-grade connector. I mean, not that it would matter, but 
Yeah, yeah, so much the power efficiency in this day and age. Uh, anyway, very surprised. This is ridiculous. I had surprise earlier. Um, anyway, because it, it starts, I think, at around 5,000 plus they have a new display. I, sl I slightly wonder that you can't configure it already or see the price here. But yeah, 5,000 bucks. I would really, um, really suggest you look elsewhere. Because it, additionally to this, this is not, of course doesn't include the display, and the display, they have a new display here. Um, compare Pro here, so they have a new Pro display XDR. And notify me, uh, this is Apple in 2019, you can't even buy. So I think the display was also 5000, which is of course ridiculous. And <coughs> seriously, you will not get much more stuff done here than on a PC. In some ways, even less, you want to boot Linux for something you can't, um, 3.7 drop frames, and um, here also this, this display, uh, someone was joking it doesn't come with a stand, not really, but probably that was a joke, I guess, um, but yeah, $5,000 display, I think, and it's, it's a stupid display, I mean, seriously, you will not be more productive just because of some uh, display uh, with higher resolution and also of course as you, uh, again Apple didn't had, had didn't had any own displays actually fun fact I have one of the previous displays from over a decade ago I have an Apple cinema display at home uh, this aluminium one and I would never buy it again you're always limited with connectors with flexibility uh, connect and also I really probably this has only I would assume only one connector here and um, like one cable something I really enjoy all the PC displays with two or three connectors where you can just keyboard, video, mouse, switch them. Uh, it's ridiculous, it's it. I don't immediately see the price here though. Let's see if Google finds the price of the new Mac Pro, but I think it starts at 5000, goes up to 20000. New Mac Pro 2019 price. Um, released its price, this is Mac World, yeah, 419 for uh, 4,999, it's ridiculous. For this, you can build such 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 an thread ripper, epic AMD machine um, f for similar performance, more flexibility without being trapped in this Apple uh, graphic card specialty Thunderbolt stuff and everything. It's uh, it's it's so sad. It's ridiculous. And I slightly wonder why they don't have the price. Anyway, it goes up to 20,000. And uh, by the way, uh, this is the entry level thing, right? It's it's not like the, the highest. So this is the entry level Axion with only eight cores. Uh, I mean, eight cores, uh, 16 threads. Seriously, you got to be kidding me. Uh, price, uh, accept the settings. Yeah, it's this bloody cook. Uh, what? Uh, the new Mac Pro starts at 599. So if you want the official display with it, that will cost you an additional, what, did did, did not say 499 so now it's 599 what the heck? Was the Google summary wrong? Uh, whatever, anyway, and so if, I mean, how crazy is this? In 2019 we arrived that Apple charges you $10,000 or Euro over, you know, you know, over if these prices here are correct for the display, like the actually the only display I mean, display matching this and it's the only display Apple has. A, I mean fun fact Apple is so degenerated uh, in the you know, not innovating their S anymore that they didn't even have an own display and so last year they only sold the LG display which was a fine display but not Apple's ones so that would make the whole thing this computer is for very few people here yeah. and again nobody asked for this crap people ask for an entry level Mac Mini, kind of like a bigger Mac Mini for like 2000 bucks, like our G5 that we purchased in 2004 or whenever that was. I paid uh, actually my uh, fun fact the G5 is actually not company property. Um, maybe I should have sold it to the company for tax reasons, but I didn't so much to optimizing, uh, not optimizing the tax, not like Donald Trump. Um, the G5 is actually my private property and um, only. Uh, consuming office space, uh, standing for free in the office. But um, the only thing is I saved a little bit on the G5 because uh, my brother was working at Gravis, Gravis back in the day some 
Apple reseller in Germany back in the day and we got I got some I don't know some some employee discount of I don't know 10 or 20 15 percent or I think it, I, it, I think it was below 2,000 euro, like 1,800 or something. But then it was the entry-level graphic card, the so NVIDIA LE 6,000, 6,600 LE, because I knew uh, NVIDIA driver didn't exist for Linux. I only need a dump frame buffer. It didn't do anything else back in the day. And without airport, because I don't need Wi-Fi in such a machine. Anyway, digressing slightly but there you see why do I say this because back in the day a decade ago such a f extendable flexible machine was 2000 um, and now it's 599 or something I mean seriously uh, Apple completely lost their shit and this is why people do Hackintosh people want like a, around 2000 euro nice powerful mid-range machine and neither a compromised Mac Mini nor this overpriced artwork polished stainless steel garbage here and uh, certainly not for 599 for the entry level machine uh, probably at that price I would expect it to have the 8, eight core 16 thread edition exactly what I built in uh, our Ryzen build was below 1000 bucks uh, the board was 100 something the Ryzen 2700 was pff, I don't know 300 back in the day uh, memory a case case we had already a power supply also and there the, you see the flexibility you upgrade your PC you just get a new board get a new uh, processor and you are uh, saved already a couple of hundred euro for a case in PSU and also the name uh, yeah except this bloody cookie cut Ka Catalina, Kata, I mean, seriously this uh, first of all this bloody names are really stupid for us is just call it 10 point I don't know 15 and stops this naming garbage and then um, <coughs> but I don't want uh, we will end the live stream here in a second it's it's midnight here right uh, I have some wine though still but not promoting here why not a paid advertisement and probably better not drink alcohol because it's not good for you with that being said mm, tasty wine um, yes they now have iPad iPad OS which I find really ridiculous because this is really instead of uniting the stuff, separating it more. Your iPad, iPad OS, it's ridiculous. And, and I mean, why? It's 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 iOS renamed just for marketing bullshit. It's like, and we need more re more reunification and not more artificial uh, hair splitting here. Where's my OBS to check? Uh, there's my OBS. Uh, oh no, not no more drop frames. Amazing stuff here. Um, Hey Alexander, uh, you can actually disable the two security stuff in that's Mac OS. That was the camera. Oh, so much to destroying. And nice SLR. So now it's drop tested only live on YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, it's still working though, I think. Yeah, you can disable the which by the way I'm still pissed that they named the T2 they should have really googled it and figured out that we have uh, T2 Linux but um, but then as far as I know uh, Linux doesn't see the SSD right you can s disable the security chip but you lose your access to your storage which doesn't really make that much sense right uh, more comments oh, yeah. ah, dropping the camera twice oh, that was a great idea uh, we are still running though, and the Mac is still. Let's check image test. Uh, hey, the image does still work, so it's not this Panasonic is drop safe from 40 centimeter on your balcony. Um, I should probably not try this at home. So much to wanting to deliver the best breaking news content here, but you don't, which is of course ridiculous that I need to connect here the SLR because the microphone input is also not working on this Retina MacBook Pro. Uh, let's see, uh, show this comment, uh, moderated. Most consumers of contemporary generation want a piece of shit for ad uh, identification and not for serious use. Uh, yeah, this is really sad and again, this is of course not really for um, Again, which professional would want to use this? You want performance and 
CPU and everything and not um, and not the stainless steel and again this is, is totally too overpriced for for 300 you get a pretty nice level 10 case there that maybe another day I still <coughs> sorry still this cold from Canada it's ridiculous and here you see uh, even here with this Retina MacBook Pro um, I had to fiddle around here because I had to send the Lenovo X1 carbon back which by the way was an amazing machine and now I sit here with my Retina MacBook Pro booting Linux in subpar stuff but um, comments in the audience you say uh, you can disable this Alexander felt is it not so my understanding is maybe you can uh, confirm or deny that whether if you disable the T2 security stuff that you see your SSD which I find quite a, so show, a showstopper right beside all this logic board stuff has uh, as seen in Lewis Rossman and um, uh, even here on my uh, Retina MacBook Pro, as you see with Linux drivers, it takes forever until the stuff works halfway decent. And um, halfway decent, and uh, even then, Microsoft input, uh, microphone input, or uh, much more importantly, the the MUX, the graphic MUX here for external versus internal display here, uh, still not amazing. And so I actually wanted to look up the price. And uh, again, what does it help you that it looks like pretty, like pseudo pretty inside? Uh, in, uh, when you never look inside anyway, you want performance. And so I, I don't see any of my professional companies, uh, my, um, my customers, buying this. I slightly wonder where is my, uh, wait a second, this is funny. Why is, uh, why do I even, ah, there is my video feed. Um, also it is black here and here yeah, it's black because why not and uh, by the way I probably doesn't even focus here right anyway at least then you see when the camera falls on the floor again and uh, no new drop frames uh <coughs> yes you can use SSD afterwards uh, this is not what I, as far as everyone told me, you don't have the SSD then, but whatever. Um, yeah, it doesn't change, that it's totally overpriced. And um, yeah, $10,000, where is uh, this is the article. And again, people need computer to do computing and not a computer to have a pretty case and the pretty case shouldn't be that overpriced and again even Linus Tech Tips said in videos if you configure the iMac with identical hardware the price is even okay-ish not, not as overpriced however you would normally never choose this components if you build your PC you would not choose this Xeon unlike uh, the special edition that Phil Computer Labs found there from China with a special Snowflake Xeon motherboard for 50 bucks uh, and, and such for a very low cost eBay sourced build. And uh, there's even, I wonder where they have the prices so. So Apple introduces new, so this display is 4,999. And, and again, the display, you know what? I have, when I purchased, I have a 4K display. I am 23 or whatever. That's usually not shown on my YouTube videos because I usually don't live stream from my main desk for obvious reasons. And I, I have on my YouTube videos usually my uh, previous generation on test bench displays, and this is um, this display. When I brought this Dell Ultra Sharp 4K in the meantime, also five or six years ago, time is running so fast. It was thousand um, dollars, and. In the meantime, of course, you get cheaper displays, similar displays in the meantime cost 500 bucks. So basically, either even when my display was new, so like, of course, now a 4K display is not state of the art anymore. Um, now you get a 4K display, a, a good 4K display like IPS and better color gamut and, and so on and so on for like 500 bucks. So you get for a really good display that is really good for a lot of stuff, you get for, you get uh, you get 10 displays 
for the price of one of those stupid displays. And then additional, even if you take a state more state-of-the-art display, like higher end for a thousand bucks, you still get five displays for the price of one display, and there really is a limit of overcharging random nonsense. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, it looks kind of pseudo theoretically good. I Means the trash can looked really a little bit strange, was also not stackable and didn't integrate well on the desk, in my opinion. It doesn't look totally too bad, but honestly, does it look that much different than a decade old Mac Pro or a two decade old? How many decades are those even? 2005? No, it's not two decades old. 2000? Yeah, but actually the first G5s were like 2003 or something. So 15, it does, in my opinion, not look that much different. Yes, this handles might be uh, pushable in there, uh, foldable into the case, but seriously, how much does this give you? This USB-C ports on the top there, probably always full with dust, maybe they even stop working unless you peel it out, peel the dust out um, with the toothpick. And yeah, I like I like good looking hardware, but then you also get really good looking PCs for much less and it's it's, it's ridiculous. And again, my bit, my biggest grief, I mean, first of all, if I have we, our real pro customers, um, they are really not interested in this. They don't want to spend 5,000 euro just to get some work done and uh, seriously just half of it would still be high priced and this is not what people ask for no not this big why because this is not for normal people a five uh, or as the other side uh what do they have the price here again yeah five starting at 599 um if this is true this is not for normal people. Which normal person wants to spend 599? Normal person wants to spend 1999 for a serviceable and upgradable. It's 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 ridiculous. It's yeah. Um, and expensive jokes you can compare it with Windows. What you can't compare with Windows. Uh, well, we are not comparing macOS with Windows. We are comparing. You can compare this with PCs, and they are pr plenty fine. Um, yeah, but this is not really form follows function and um, again, they can, Apple could do, I, I would uh, appreciate and applaud Apple much more if they would do really great design like the G5 and Mac Pro in previous times for starting at 2000. This is not, and there you see the arrogance of, of Apple for starting a professional Mac at 5,999 and again so this will not stop anything not hack into not people complaining because this is simply not what people ask for and for those Apple fanboys here um, if you go here to their bower or something not that he probably is not building the most amazing cases I guess um, but I I'm not that much in, in PC building here the most, but uh, maybe really not the very super best, most amazing, probably maybe more overclocking, but I remember he at least at some point in time built some case of something. Um, where would it be? Anyway, you find plenty of amazing case builds on the internet. And again, I uh, what is wrong with the case I quoted in the very beginning? Thermal take level 10, um, maybe that is already enough, um, again 390, uh, 299, I think it was 299, I think it should be like here, so I mean, yeah, it's different, but it's it's nice and you have just one idea, and um, yeah, and, uh, and uh, by the way, design, um, <coughs> I mean, speaking of SGI Octane, right, uh, on my channel and everything, but otherwise, there is a Sun. Is there, no, is, there was a Sun Ultra 45, and uh, it is not. Well, of course, it wasn't cheap back in the day. I mean, comparing the most expensive workstations with the most expensive workstations. How, by the way, how is for frame drop here? Um, and I, I have nothing against Apple selling twenty thousand dollar workstations. Um, just that it should start at nineteen ninety nine, in my opinion. 
because this is what people want. It's, it's like basically Apple is showing the biggest Apple phone by, by the finger and it's basically they don't even want to sell Macs anymore and they just want an excuse that they finally stop doing this Macs at all because and only do iPads and iOS because then they will say nobody is buying this Macs anymore which um, yeah this is um, yeah just my two cents probably you hear it's still a little bit cold probably why not the best cure for a cold also not to throw oh I moved the camera again um, yeah also testing for then this week's this week's uh, IT news whether we can live stream here, here where we are right now mm. good wine they really know how to do wine here can't complain about that one and um, yeah I personally I rather build myself six high performance Ryzen builds or two and a half epic or threadripper builds um, than wasting my money and again I I've been there I've done that I speak of uh, no I can't even hello touch cut can you click here on show or what is wrong now with or did we crash already or something maybe apparently allegedly 